This image shows what bore scoring looks like on an engine that has already been removed for repair. This engine would have had serious blow-by of oil, loss of compression, and started fouling plugs, caps, and O2 sensors. This engine is either junk or going to have new cylinder sleeves pressed in. To perform a bore scoping of the engine, you will need to first get all the spark plugs out of all the cylinders. You will also need a way to rotate the motor until the piston is in the cylinder you are checking and is at the bottom of its stroke. You will need to first remove the rear bumper and the mufflers on your 991.1. For additional assistance with that task, if needed, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. With the bumper and mufflers off, you will have access to the cylinder heads. There are two heat shields between the heads and the mufflers that you need to remove. The heat shields are held in place by four E10 torque screws and indicated by red arrows. Remove the screws and slide the heat shields back and down and out from between the head and the muffler bracket. It will be a tight fit, but there's no need to bend the shields. With the heat shields out of the way, you can easily access the three coils on each cylinder bank. You're going to be removing the coils. It is a good idea to number them before removal. Press in on the electrical connection tab, red arrow, and separate the connection. Use a T30 torque and remove the single screw holding each coil in place. Slightly twist the coil as you pull them back and out. Use a 16mm thin walled spark plug socket and remove all the plugs. This will make rotating the engine easier. If you have a PDK, you will have to try and bump the motor over. If you have a manual, you can put it in gear and rotate it that way. You can buy a bore scope that will work with your phone or computer. Make sure you get one that has lights on the end and a 45 degree mirror attachment is very handy. You will need to get each cylinder to the bottom of its stroke to allow you to see as much of the cylinder wall as possible. You are not timing cams here, so all you have to do is rotate the engine until the piston goes to the bottom of the cylinder. Remember, due to the design of the engine, when one cylinder is at the bottom of the stroke on one side, there will also be one on the other side on the bottom. This will help save you time when rotating the motor. Gently insert the probe into the spark plug opening and if you have a 45 degree attachment, slowly rotate the probe until you can see all of the cylinder wall. You can just check the cylinder that you are getting a misfire code on, but if you are at this point you should check them all. Installation of all components is the reverse of removal. When reinstalling the plugs, torque to 30 newton meters or 22 foot pounds. If you are refitting the old plugs, torque to 25 newton meters or 19 foot pounds. Both coil screws and heat shield screws are torqued to 10 newton meters or 7.5 foot pounds. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.